you itself is a very small celebration among Mexican militia won over a very thick French army. The French won right back after a couple of days, but in Puebla they celebrate what that battle meant. It's nothing like what happens in the US. I am a chef, a cookbook author, and I'm the host of Paris Mexican Table. Cinco de Mayo falls on Taco Tuesday. I've grown really fond of the celebration because it's become an excuse for Mexicans and non-Mexicans alike to celebrate anything and everything that Mexicans bring to the table. Okay, I have some of the ingredients that I like to use to make charro beans. Something that is always in my pantry is beans. I'll show you how to make some charro or pork style beans. The category of charro beans or cowboy style beans has some kind of meat that's cooked with some kind of vegetables and then all mixed with the beans and then it, beco it becomes this like one pot dish that you can eat like that or talking to tacos. So just a tiny bit of oil because we have bacon and chorizo which have their own fat. And I have a jalapeño. But because I like it spicy, I'm also gonna add a, add a little bit of serrano chile. So this is the jalapeño and the serrano, the onion, the jalapeño. I'm gonna start cooking in that delicious rendered fat and softening. And I wanna give it a little bit more flavor and I want an excuse to add another fresh ingredient. You could use the fresh tomato or you could use hand crushed tomatoes. So I waited for the bacon and the chorizo to brown and for the vegetables to soften. And now I'm adding the cooked beans. We have the tortillas here that are heating. We're gonna add some cheese. I'm going to prepare my garnishes. I have some pickled jalapenos. I'm thrilled that we're having a homebound Cinco celebration. Everybody can eat tacos and find some comfort and, you know, enjoy the food and the drinks that are just hospitable. There's your Cinco de Mayo, Taco Tuesday, Taco Night, everything together, taco. <laughs>